All right, what we want to do is come to the legs uh, and we're going to do just like we did with the arms. We're going to add a point right here, spacebar, add here, and we're going to create some objects now. So, all right, what I did was I just selected the style, the color and style for the pants. Uh, create object. And we are going to make this one object. Remember, spacebar, once it's selected. Spacebar, spacebar. Oops. Spacebar, spacebar, spacebar. And the reason we're doing this is if we didn't create objects, when one log leg crosses another leg, it would disappear because our object's folding over itself, just like it did with the arms when we first opened this up. So now we're just going to come back in here and hide edge. Hide edge, hide edge, hide edge, hide edge. And this program's really good for uh, hiding it correctly. Oh, and when I created this, I did it in the wrong color. So um, let me repaint this with a... Oops, control V. Repaint that it was kind of a grayish white color. And then same there. That's more like it. All right, all right. Um, all right, now the nice thing about this program is it does a really good job with the finer points of the vector. So if we actually render this, you won't see any of the little lines and stuff that are in there. All right, so now what we're going to do is we've got the bone selected. We're going to bind these top points to that bone. Oops, we got one extra. If you get one extra, you can just hit Shift and click on it. All right, now spacebar, we'll bind them to this bone. Okay, now let's select the next bone. And we'll bind these two points. Space. Select the next one. And bind these points. Spacebar. Try it out. Now that's going to be a problem. The best way to do this is to let me see. Where's my translate bone? Oh, bone layer. Translate bone. We're going to put these bones back to back. Okay, I made some adjustments. What I did didn't work, so I just kind of spread the legs out a little bit more and then left this angle, which is probably what the original legs look like. I don't remember now, but uh, those may have been correct. And then uh, just to test it out, they're not capable of doing a lot of movement, but it still looks fairly natural. Um... All right, now we want them to be able to rock, so I will make this change. Let's grab these top three points, and then we use this tool, and we'll actually round them out. I want to keep it as close to the original look as possible. All right. And 
now he's able to move. It kind of looks a little bit better. Let's see what happens yeah, if we render it. That looks a little bit more natural. And this can be tweaked too by bringing these points in and up just a bit. Yeah, I like that. Okay, um, one last thing. When we move these feet, now the ankles don't seem to look right. So what we're going to do... It's all a matter of perspective. We're just going to change this dot. We'll move it up here. Uh, lift that one up. And because the way the ankles are done, you might not even notice now. That's not too bad. It looks a little bit more natural with some movement. Uh, and that can be tweaked. But for the most part, this character's fixed. The only thing I would do different here, uh, for sure, is this is the main layer, and the origin is over here. I would move it to somewhere around here. And that way, if you ever need to scale him up or down, he's going to scale in relation to that. If the origin's over here and you scale him, he's going to start sliding this way, and then you have to replace him in your scene. So with the origin here, we can actually just... Um, sh shrink him down and he's going to stay on that level so if I set him right on this line he's going to stay on the line no matter what so um, alright so that's it and I will send this file back to the guy who gave him check out cartoonlearning.com it's completely free I've got a ton of free resources and stuff on there for anime studio and transparent PNGs for your animation uh, and then if you get the time, check out animationtrainer.com too. There's a lot of characters and stuff I've got on there. A lot of stuff I don't announce that uh, comes with the first month subscription as of right now. Um, and I think that's it. I'll talk to you later. See ya.